So we have a 2016 F350 6.7 diesel, setting a P0016 cam crank correlation. Well, that code will set if there's a variation in cam and crank seek of six degrees or more. So they had supposedly put new sensors in it. The crank sensor looked new back there. The cam sensor didn't look new, but uh, I knew what was wrong with it. So I ripped the front cover off and what I found was, and we're gonna dispel some myths here too. That gear is pressed on, the lower gear. It's pressed on there. And the only way to check that would be to pull your number one injector and find top dead center on your piston with you know when your marks are are close and this lower gear was off four teeth which is about eight and a quarter degrees which is enough to set that code it ran fine i mean there was no drivability uh four teeth that means that gear moved and that would see the camshaft turns backwards so that would advance the cam the cam was advanced about eight and a quarter degrees. Um, so I guess uh, the myth of if it's any more than one tooth, you're gonna have a catastrophic failure. Uh, this one obviously didn't. So what we're gonna do, so what I did was I pulled the gears off, uh, you know, found top dead center on the number one and lined the gears back up. And they're in a, a uh, of course the bottom gear is in a different position on the crankshaft right now. I also, you know, I poked around on the forums a little bit because I like to see what people are saying and there's some real stupid shit out there about this. Um, one particular, it was an older thread, but uh, they had sent him a picture of, they had the, the uh, crank or the uh, vacuum pump out and a Ford dealer sent him a picture and they had these two, there's two marks here and there's two marks on the pump drive gear. Well, they were, you know, close to each other and they sent him that picture and told him that his uh, timing, you know, his valve timing was three degrees off. So uh, I don't know how they figured that out because uh, one tooth is, you know, if it slips, I, I don't know. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, they sold him a short block. So the fix for this, I mean, you can buy a crankshaft, but then you're probably gonna have the same problem because that gear is just pressed on there. You have a lot of torque on that crankshaft and it has to turn all the valve train plus the pump. If you have a pump failure where the pump locks up, um, it's gonna put a instantaneous stop on everything there. That's gonna slip that gear for certain. Uh, if you put a lot of power on it, tune them up and do uh, sled pulling and stuff like that, you're probably gonna slip that gear. You know, if you like to romp on the throttle and, you know, give her, give her hell, you know, with a tuner, you're, you're probably gonna slip that gear. So the way to fix that is to line it back up. That gear is not available from Ford, so be really careful with it. And if you buy an aftermarket crankshaft, I haven't seen any that come with that gear, so you're gonna be reusing it. Um, Anyway, the way to fix this is you're going to TIG weld this, you know, just two beads on both sides over here, you know, opposite of each other. That's going to be fine. And then it, uh, it won't go anywhere. It'll be just fine. So anyway, just remember top dead center on your piston, line your marks up. You got one mark on, on the crank gear. You got two on the cam gear that line up one on this end of the cam gear and two on the pump gear. So, you know, pretty simple, basic stuff. Uh, this idea here, real, real stupid. It's unbelievably stupid. So the other thing is too, I mean, if you wanted to check this, um, you'd, if with the dampener on there, it would be a lot easier, but you see the Dell pin here, this pin, should basically is going to line up with that bolt boss right there. If you had a, 
you know, if you could get your straight edge lined up on there, you're going to line up with that bolt boss right there when your marks are lined up there. That's a quick way. Well, not quick. I mean, you got to pull the vacuum pump off and, you know, the in intake hose and all that shit. But uh, that would be a quick way to check your timing. You know, it should be in this area right here where that second bolt boss is on the cylinder head. That's a bolt boss for the valve cover slash intake. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, not really a super easy fix. It, it's a stupid fix. You shouldn't have to do that, but uh, I guess it is a problem. So we're going to take care of it and put this thing back together. And we won't have a P0016 anymore. And uh, hopefully, you know, get some more life out of this thing. I mean, you know, the only other alternative would be to uh, replace, you know, do short block in it, replace the crankshaft. But uh, you can't throw a good truck away. You got to fix it, make it work. So stay tuned.